What are some of the first examples that come to mind when I say seeds? I think of apple, jackfruit and maybe methi. All flowering plants have seeds and all seeds make more plants. But plants being immobile creatures sometimes find it extremely hard to get their seeds to a place where they will survive with good amounts of sunshine, water and nutrition. If it were left up to the plant, all the seeds might fall right under the mother plant and die out sooner or later. Therefore, plants had to think smart. Millions of years of evolution have made them extremely creative and they have adapted many ways of getting their young out there into the big bad world to grow, survive and evolve. This is how seed dispersal was evolved. Seed dispersal is essentially the movement of seeds to another location far from the mother plant. Just like pollination, smarty plants got other agents like birds, mammals, water and wind to get their seeds from one location to the other. So would an animal do something like this for free? Never. The animals are tricked into transporting the seeds by providing it with some delicious outer covering of sweet fleshy pulp. There lies inside the seed which you need to carry if you want to gorge on the sweet flesh. Imagine a monkey on a mango tree. It enjoys the fruit and just flings the seed somewhere else. What the monkey didn't realize is that the useless portion of the seed for the monkey was actually an immensely useful portion for the plant. Plants are too clever this way. Some seeds are large like the mango while some seeds are extremely tiny like that of fig. In addition, some seeds have specific dispersers. For instance, in the wild, hornbills will only disperse fruits with very large seeds. If hornbills were to go extinct, these large seeded trees would have had a hard time producing new plants. Furthermore, some seeds need to be ingested. They can germinate only when they pass through the gut of an animal. A series of chemical reactions in the gut aid the shoot to break through the hard seed coat. Some plants are even smarter, especially grasses. Some grasses have a hook-like structure on their seeds. When an animal rubs past the plant, the hook clings on to the animal fur. This way, it moves from its parent location to a distant place to germinate and spread its descendants. Even humans are dispersal agents. Agriculture is a classic example of this. Plants have migrated all over the world because of their nutritional contributions. We now grow tomatoes, potatoes, etc. that travel from the Americas to the rest of the world mainly because of its edible qualities. What about our cereals then? This is another in scheming act of our smarty plants. So you see that plants are super beings. If they can convince humans who we believe are the most supreme organisms, then they have really outdone us. If you would like to know more about seed dispersal, get in touch with us at urbanmali.com. You could also write to us or call us at 953502593.